air, the first class, let me have first hand information concerning the show of shame that have been carried out by the APC and the Funanese in the Navy today. I want to tell the world the information that is on our hand concerning that particular shameful attack today. Firstly, I want to remind every dear friends wherever you are, like I do say, the time we are right now, we are on injury time because we are already there. You know, when things are getting better or when things are being programmed to, to be positive, we will always have this element of evil around that want to destroy what God has already pronounced victory. But little did they know that the same God who are championing this cause will always plant somebody in their midst. Wherever they are planning this show of shame, somebody in their midst, Holy Spirit will enter that person to be an informant in their midst to give out exactly the plan and what is about to happen. I want every dear friends to pay attention and as well, I want every body in that contraction called Nigeria, I want every Odudua people to pay attention to this particular information today. And I hope the world are watching as well because our program do go far. Many world, they are watching, they are monitoring the situation in that Nigeria. And gradually, gradually, they are beginning to find out the real truth and those behind the evil that is being carried out in Nigeria. The attack today, because I have, I mean, I, 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 I'm occupied today. I'm not supposed to be here, but I quickly rush down to make sure that we get the real face of this particular attack that was carried out today in in a week now the attack was planned on tuesday last week which is last month the attack was planned on tuesday the last tuesday of the last month of september the that tuesday was that tuesday was on the 27th of september when this attack that was carried out in inewi today was planned at orenta hotel lakey road lagos state that were that was where the attack was planned and the people that present that was present in this plan was Gahoba Shehu from Asorok and uh, Malami, the Minister of Justice and Attorney General of Nigeria, and uh, Andy Oba, and uh, Hope was they must send a representative in Orenta Hotel. Lekki Lagos. This meeting was held around 7.45 p.m. That is when they commenced this meeting. 7.45 p.m. on the 27th of September. And uh, after the meeting, after the meeting, Joey Mokwe was paid in dollars for his home for his town for his house that was burned down today was paid 380,000 US dollar was to balance this money this money is to be balanced the month the money they agree on which he insisted that he will receive from them because you know they don't trust themselves because they ask him what can we do to be able to eliminate Mazen and the canon 
in DSS study, uh, cost study. Then they concluded, Joy Wobo concluded that attack need to be carried out in Anambra State radically. Radically. So the people you are seeing today, those people you are seeing and you think they are unknown government, there was unknown government, unknown government existed during the time of uh, after immediately after NSAS protests. And this group of unknown government, when we later find out that they are people who Nigeria force have eliminated their loved ones in their family, then them form their deadly gang against, listen to me, against the Nigerian forces who cause pain to their various families. Listen to me. They never, unknown government never go after any individual, no matter how foolish you are, no matter how uh, uh, sabotage you have been on your people, they are not after you. They are after the state of Nigeria who have caused them pain. Now, listen to me. After they paid him 380 thousand US dollar. They agree on five hundred thousand US dollar for his house. And this money will be given to him on Tuesday. This very week we enter. The money will be given to him. Today is third. Tomorrow is fourth. Fifth on the fifth. They will pay him the money on Tuesday. Then on Wednesday, everybody pay attention. Share this video. Now listen to me. On Wednesday there will be attack on DSS where Mazin Nandekano is being detained. Because the information came in two hours ago by inner person, inner person of Joe Ibukwe, the same Joe Ibukwe, and this information is being given by a woman by a woman in the midst of that nonsense plan. Now, what you see today in DSS office in Inewi, Anambra State, was to tell the world that attackers now can come into a sensitive area like DSS quarter. So that, you, if you notice, I don't know that is what that was the reason why they attacked some army barracks in the north. If you hear last week, which is last month, I think on the third, on the, the last day of the of the of September, there was attack in a particular place of DSS office in the north as well. Listen to me. They began the plan, they began the the the, 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 the program on the north. Now, they ended it in the east so that to enable the world to understand that even them, the security personnel are not safe. So, which means anybody in their custody is not safe as well. Now, listen to me. As this particular good Samaritan, this woman was giving this information to me particularly, I was surprised. I was surprised. He said we should act quickly. We should air this information so that they themselves will watch it and find out that their plan has collapsed. Listen to me. That's why we are I'm gonna tell people that we need to be prayerful in this struggle. This struggle is not all about you know talking nonsense, attacking each other. We should basically focus on the channels of our enemies because what you see they are creating in the IPOB is to distract us so that we will basically treating the issue that is not matter then they will see their chance to execute their plan now Joey Boko House was born today by the people they hired to do so the same thing happened in DSS office. There is a video somebody was videoing from his, I think from his own resident, showing the little, little boys. Listen to me. Go and watch that video. Immediately that woman gave this information. 
I begin to study that particular video. That person was videoing those people inside the quarter of DSS in the Navy. Now, but God exposed them by that video. Among the two people who the video captured as unknown government inside the DSS quarter, that is setting the DSS quarter ablaze, none of them have weapon. Have you seen such before? <laughs> have you seen such before? None of the two guys has weapon with them. The two guys that was captured by the camera has no weapon in them, no single gun in them, not even cutlass. They only have their uh, what they call it uh, uh, plastic. Uh, I think uh, they call it a keg or something like that, rubber. I think that that was fuel inside that rubber. That was what they have with them. Another one was carrying stick. That is all. Now, the DSS, you know, people died. Maybe they never tell that people died in that place today. They carried that attack. Unknown gunmen that we have experiencing immediately after answers. The unknown gunmen went to Owere. The real unknown gunmen went to o Imo State Prison. And free everybody, even BBC. All media confirming that no life was lost. Even when the media was analyzing the attack, they say these people must be a well trained and a well trained, of, uh, 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 trained personnel that carry such attack without harming any inmate. Now, today in the Navy, people that that that, that, that are detained by DSS office in the Navy office, they lost their life. Because the woman cooled down and analyzed what happened. When I doubted her, he said, no, let me tell you what happened now. He said, they plan it that they're going to keep people in DSS office. Immediately, I said, wow, so this could be true because unknown government that have operated before they don't harm even inmates, they always make sure. Do you remember when they went to Abia State? They free all inmates, no single person lost their life because they know that those people are detained unjustly. So, unknown government is the men that form their group to be able to work to give justice to those that justice have been denied. Their activity is not in any way concerning an individual who is being foolish on his own. So, Joey Bokwe hired people that burned down his house while he had already been paid for that house. Joey Bokwe have received the money double for that house. He made gain in selling the house to Minister of Justice, Sheo Gaba, and the Uba and the whole post of the man of Imo State. In other way, to be able to get hold of Mazin Nam in DSS study where they are detaining him in Abuja, because they will say the attack has been carried out in different states. Did you say anything? Everybody will relax. They say now that it was the same attack that was carried out. Unfortunately, Mazin Nam the become one of the victims in DSS custody. I am making this video to alert the world. I am issuing this word today to before the entire world that if anything happened to Mazin Nam the Kano, every every criminal parading themselves as politicians in the eastern region, hold your ears and listen very carefully. We are not playing and we are not joking. We are not playing, we are not joking. What we say is there will be no election in Biafra land. That was what we are debating. And the head of directorates have not said any issue concerning if there will be election in Anambra or not. But we, the members of IPOB, worldwide are 
giving the suggestion to the leadership of IPOB. We are suggesting we are not commanding because we don't have right to give command. Command is always should always come out from the head of the rhetoric of this struggle, which is Chika Idozim, because the leadership follow him. The leadership of this struggle fall on him because the leader is being kidnapped, is in the hand of kidnappers, state kidnappers. So therefore, because there is no deputy in IPOB, let me clear those who are running their mouth sometime in IPOB, automatically the leadership have fallen on him and you have no choice not to obey everything he will issue and if anybody misbehave in this struggle he has the right to dismiss that particular person the person can if the person like the person can go ahead and be ranting and be talking all sort of nonsense but what the most important is that the power that bestowed on Mazin Namdekanu by the over 77 million Biafans has automatically, directly and automatically before on Chika, uh, Chika Dozim, which is the head of the rhetoric. Either you like it or not, if you don't like the pattern or the system of this paramilitarian movement of this, because most of you think we are in a democratic uh, movement. No. Freedom fighting is a paramilitary movement until we get where we are going to. Then when the Afra is achieved, you can bring in democracy with all we will debate and we all we practice pure democracy in the Afra. I will become an opposition self that time. If anybody issue I will tackle that person because we are that time on democracy. Now, I want to give this word to all politicians from the Eastern region, from the riverine area to our land to the lower area of Biafra land. Every Biafran territory, listen to me, if you're a politician and you love yourself and you love your family, let nothing happen to Mazin and the Khan. And people should take note. Andoba, if you don't desist, this is, let, me tell, let me tell you something, Andoba, you have killed Dora Kunere's husband in other way to get hold of IPOB. Andoba, you have killed so many youths in Anambra because of this election. Another word to tag IPOB with crime. Andoba, you have tried so much to see that you collapsed the system of IPOB. And Uba, there is a woman you work with in IPOB, but the woman, God disgraced the woman, he did not, she did not succeed. But the, my annoyance was that the same woman wanted to manipulate a very vibrant and intelligent man in this struggle. Unknown to him, but God saved him because if that woman could have gotten hold of him and collapsed IPOB, by now that woman will set him up and push him aside and the IPOB is gone. Thank God our prayer seriously work. That's why I make mention of what I mentioned. Until, let me tell you something. I have given that woman time. When my 21 days in laughs without seeing that woman apologizing to Bia friends and apologize to Maze. Simon Epa for trying to deceive him and to apologize to those people that he fabricated that nonsense and sell out and those people begin to buy it and begin to misbehave in their post those people that Cheke Dozim dismissed in IPOB or no suspended in IPOB because they are still under suspension they suspend them in IPOB because of their misbehavior because of the market of lies them they foolishly buy from Dr. Nelly. If she did not repent and apologize to Bia France, 
how we expose her to the call the time is coming i don't have that time now but what i am issuing now is i am just briefing you how anduba is working anduba is working assiduously to make sure that we remain under the enslavement of britain and that is not gonna work to my best of knowledge it's not gonna work and Uba, any more attack in Anambra State, any more, one more attack in Anambra State, and Uba, your mansion will go down. And this time around, it's not going to be fire because you have burned people houses with fire, you have burned so many offices with fire. But the men, they are going to come with good answer. You are going to see it. The the is going to be the most broadest time in Anambra State. You cannot kill husband of Dora Kunyere and the death will be just forgotten and be swept under carpet. And Oba, you are the murderer of Dora Kunyere's husband. Many people are afraid to say it, but I have come today to tell you because that's the same person that gave the information, give the solid information, he say he, he mentioned your name properly. And Oba, you kill the man, you deliberately kill the man in collaboration with all the APC members in Anambra State, including Chris Ngige. So I am calling on every well-meaning politicians who want their life to be secured in Biafra Nation. Listen to me. They may be joking that Biafra will not come. That Biafra you see has already come. The day Abazonia celebrates their independence was the day Biafra was given. <laughs> so they understand. Joy Boko, that was this this plan they did today was the last. They have run out of plan. God have denied them plan. They have run out of plan. What you are seeing them now is let us play our last card to see if this last card work or not but unfortunately god have exposed them through their inner person the meeting was held i mentioned the hotel again orenga hotel lakey along lakey road lagos state at about 7 45 they commenced this meeting gahaba who was there minister that useless criminal terrorist the made minister of Niger, uh, minister of justice of nigeria was present there out of fear of that hope was having send the representative there and Uba was there everything was planned joy Bukwe was the one that said do you know i have become a target to the Biafrans. I think something needs to be done. And somebody brought out that suggestion. Let attack be carried in your house, in your hometown. Let your house be burned down. And we will pay. So you make gain. If you see how they burn that house, now let me tell you something. Did anything destroy in that house? The only thing that destroyed in that house was the properties. So who are those? that quench the fire people are already in the house people are already in that house people are already in that house monitoring the situation of the of the damage despite him being paid yeah, now joey bokona defrauded <laughs> defrauded his colleagues his terrorist colleagues he defrauded them. he collected their money because the attack they said they're going to make the attack look very real they said they're going to make the attack very, very real. Even some part of the house will collapse, will go down. But Joe Jogwa, as, an, as a criminal, you know, when tortoise and tortoise trade the market, nobody will have gain. None of them will have gain. Because this one is evil. This one is evil. This one is, is with fraudulent mind. This one is with fraudulent mind. So then when they are already, people are already waiting, carrying. Uh, fire extinguisher, the big one. They already planted people inside the building. 
So they put, they came, they bust the gate, they enter, they do gri 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 gri. They put the house, they put the fire inside the house, they allow the fire, they spoke of the fire to come up. Then the next thing they do, they brought out the instrument to quench the fire, which Jay Boko put in place. They begin to, they, 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 they quench the fire. Already the money is already in his pocket. The money of the property is already in his pocket. Then they went down to DSS custody and killed the Igbo youth, which they kidnapped. No DSS personnel died in that attack. No single DSS. How can unknown government enter into DSS study, custody uh, uh, quarter without bringing two or three people down of DSS personnel? So, ladies and gentlemen, did you see how devilish the Igbo politicians can be? But what I am telling them today, your plan have collapsed. I'm sorry. <laughs> God have used somebody in your midst. Because, because these are the prayer we are praying. You see, dear friends, God love us so much. Nothing will happen to Mazen Nandekan. As they are planning it, if we, let them use all the families to make their plan. God will spare into that one family man. One person must be an informant in their midst. That is the what God had promised in this struggle. One person must be an informant in their midst. Even though let bring Funani, only Funani, you know, how evil Funani can be. Then it's okay, let us, since other people are betraying us, since other tribes are betraying us, when we plan, they betray us. Let us all plan this thing by ourselves. And that is impossible. That is impossible. They must use an indigenous Nigeria to complete their plans. So, Joey Bokwe, if we hear you again, make mention of burning your house, then not only do we go to come after you. See, Joey Bokwe, IPOB doesn't do something any secret. We don't have secret. Go, our mother and the Kalum have said it on media several times what will we do we will tell you before we come and do it because we have to tell the world our mission so that when we do it we give reason and the, the reason must be very understandable to the ear to the understanding of this world when we do it joe Bokwe, if you carry this insult again on ipob if you try this sort of insult again in ipob we will get you, we will grab your life. And the world will see the video, they will confirm. You think you think you have security? You think you have security in that Lagos where you are hiding? You don't have security. When we hear you again in short Biafrans, if he, because what you are what happened today that Joe Bokwe is trying to paint entire Biafran citizens black is is a very big insult on our face. Next time, such thing will repeat itself. Joy Bokwe, we are going to grab you alive. And you understand the pattern of this particular world. Because it seems you don't understand how this world functions. You are in Lagos State killing youth doing all manner of nonsense and the world and the people kept you quiet i think it is time now that you are pushing towards to eliminate mazen and the canon you have already submit yourself into our hand if anything happened to mazen and the can joy bokwe and Uba, Opposite of them, man. Chris Ngige. All of you, let me tell you what will happen to you. And the rest all of them, let me tell you, and the rest of other politicians, both if I know all of them, you will become a fugitive for life. The rest of the Christ come, you become a fugitive in that land. Because it's only Mazin and the Kano that this generation are looking up to. Because of his kindness, we don't want to destroy his integrity. Any day, any day, any day you foolishly 
we have story Martin and the canon is no more all of you all of you all of you all of you <laughs> all of you you will regret of coming you will regret you will sit down with your money that you have thought this you have you have this word to control you will sit down with your money you will you will share everlasting tears down you will say wow what have we done what have you what have we cost ourselves this this will be our, our last word what have we cost ourselves because you are not going to leave your children are going, not going to leave your wife are not going to your relatives are not going to leave this one now is going to extend to the relatives because all this nonsense you are doing i believe if you are extended relative call you to order and tell them what you are doing will affect us because they are there as a bland shoji what they know is bring money let us chop now listen to me if you if you somehow related to this man tell them that your life is at stake that whatever they are doing they should stop the nonsense now because all of you are going to go to exile forever not to return not after 20 years returning or after 30 years i say forever exile we will tell you how to run how to help the wicked to end their generation forever we are going to demolish your houses and build a worship center all of you all of your mansions we will turn them to worship center and we expel you out of the land forever no no not maybe your children will grow they will want to come and negotiate come and dialogue with the, gov the government of Biafra. no you are going to remain forever and whenever any of your child step into our land we are going to jail them for everlasting jail it is called life jail they will not, we are not going to kill anybody they are going to remain in jail all the rest of their life. They are going to grow old inside the jail. They are going to die inside the jail. Then they, they, will, they will bury them. Let nothing happen to Maze Namdekan. You see that plan? Cancel the plan. It did not work. Bring another one tomorrow. Go and make another plan tomorrow. And Yuba, it shall not be well with you. Your generation, your wife, your children, your whatever that attached to you will not be well, shall not be well with that person. Anything that attached to you shall not be well with that thing. I curse you today. And you back. It shall not be well. Your, your generation will not experience peace. Your generation will not experience peace. Not in the morning, not in the noon, not in the evening, not in the night. Your cup has full. There will be no election in Anambra State. In Biafra land territory as a whole. You can lie, you can blackmail, you can carry such attack, but the most painful person that you have touched is the Akunyales family. It's unforgiving sin. It's unforgiving sin. Their friends will not allow the death of this man to be vain. Chris Oba, you will pay. Chris Oba, you will I mean, uh, and Oba, you will pay. Chris Ngige, you will pay. You will pay because these are the important personnel in Biafra land. These are men who have affected humanity positively not criminal like you like you useless guys not not to a criminal he did not involve him himself at all he was there to make sure that he puts mine in the face of humanity you want to eliminate the important personnel in, the, in our land so that to enable you to establish your empire of terrorists in our land, jihadists in our land, who give birth to you? Who is your mother? Who is your father? Where who born you? Where did you born from? Who, who, who give birth to you? You are not born. 
and Duba. Money is nonsense before this generation. We will get hold of you, don't worry. Cancel that plan. If anything happened to Mazen Nandekano, if anything happened to Mazen Nandekano, oh my goodness God. <laughs> Nigeria, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, I believe that Funanese and the Britain and the world, they are still using the eyes of our father to look onto us. Uh, they say uh, after that Biafra war, uh, there is this permanent fear in them. Let me tell you something. This generation, they are not our father. We are not our father's generation. There is no atom of, of fear in us at all. Because we have confronted many deaths. We have confronted many hard life. So, instead of us to become slave in our own God-given land, we rather all of us die. That land, let that land be empty. Do you hear what I said? We will rather die, everybody die. Let the land of Nigeria be empty. We will never be slave in our land. Never. God created us equal, and equal shall we be. If God bless you more than me, give God glory. And use that wealth to impart, to bring a development into our land. That is the reason why God blesses his people. Not to build yourself an empire of intimidation. No. And Duba, you have failed. Joe Bokwe is a nonsense man. Joe Bokwe is like, you know, abandon a rotten soup. That's what I call Joe Bokwe. I, I always call Joe Bokwe a rotten soup. Is 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 something that has no significance. That's what I call Joe Ibukwe. Joe Ibukwe has to me is nobody. But you see, you and Yoba, you feel sorry, you feel that you have arrived. The this generation they are going to teach you a lesson that you will foreverly remain to remember. You will always remember it. Even when you die, your spirit will remember it in another side of life. You went and born with your DSS criminal colleagues, killing innocent Biafrans, they detained in that detention in that DSS quarter today. You kill them because you just want to eliminate one man. You want to eliminate one man. You took the life of others today in your custody. Shame on you. Shame on DSS Nigeria. Shame on you. Security outfit that's supposed to be a protection to people. Now they have turned to terror camp. DSS is more terrorist than Boko Haram now. What do you expect? When they are bringing Boko Haram into to replace the genuine officers and move the they send the genuine officers where they will die. They replace them with terrorists. And these are the people that Anjuba is working to bring his own people down. This is the people that Joy Boko is working to bring his own people down. This is the people that Chris Singiga is working to bring his own people down. You want to kill Mazen Nandekano? You cannot kill Mazen Nandekano. Mazen Nandekano is untouchable. Despite being your custody, is on even in the I'm, I'm making it as a bow. I am boasting on it. Mazen Nandekano is untouchable, even in your custody. It's untouchable. If you touch Mazen Nandekano, that means you, all of your politicians, all of you will not live. That means you have chosen to die, and that is how we will pay. Nothing will happen to Mazen Nandekano. My pain today is for taking the life of innocent people being detained in DSS custody. DSS went and assassinated them, killed them, set their place ablaze in disguise of unknown government. Which type of unknown government are you seeing? With that arms, carrying fuel and stick. 
Did you know the kind of weapon the DSS officers use? That somebody that has stick and the gallon of fuel will overpower them to burn their. Are you are you a child? Are you a, are you learning? We are security expert. That's what we study. We know when the state carry out a shameful show. We know when attack really attack come to come to states. Who is idiot? Is it not the same government are idiot? Making plan that citizens will easily detect. When I say, when I told you that all people that are in APC, they are a bunch of illiterate, certificate buyers. They only secure their degree by buying it in Olu. They not even they don't even go far. They went to Iluwele and secure it. These are the results now. When you put idiot in a position that is sensitive, these are the kind of things you'll be seeing. These are the kind of things you'll be seeing. Let nothing happen to Mazin and the Kano. I have no time to waste in this program, but I have issued this first hand information. And let nothing happen to Mazin and the Kano. Joe Bogo will be shocked. How did these people discover this? And Yuba will be shocked. How did these people? How? Who is that that I am that is eating from me that has betrayed me? Yes, it is not the person. It is God that entered them to betray you, because you are full of evil. Imagine a a minister of justice of Nigeria planning terror terrorist attack. Being among the people planning to Nigeria is finished. When a minister of justice that's supposed to be the, the that's supposed to be investigating has his own team of investigation of what are now involved, are now fully involved in terrorism. <laughs> what else do you want? Listen to me. If you are youth in Nigeria from west, from south, from the north, and from the east. The only good you will do to yourself is to join hand together and double effort to see that Nigeria collapse today, 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 today. If not, you are moving nowhere. Keep there watching, watching BB Niger. Keep on there, staying there, watching Manchester City. Uh, football they are playing in England. Football they are playing in Germany, you are there watching watching it. Terrorists are now in, in office of of justice of a, of your country. A terrorist, head of terrorists are there now managing it. Malami. A terrorist, confirmed terrorist, are now a, are the are the head of your faith. That is where terrorists have occupied. He's occupying planning attack. Now he involved now a planning attack so that he will be able to use if he, if nobody if this thing if this secret did not leak the next thing now on Wednesday you will hear ah uh, the the bandit attack because that one they are not going to target the non government no. that one they will say bandits the manager of bandits now we now they had they have to pay him the owner the owner of the uh, company called bandit go, uh, Sheikh Gomi. Everybody now open company. Then Kote open his own to to lend to lend money for politicians. He now open his own bandit company now to extort Nigerian by force because they cannot plan it and mention his name without paying him. So what they wanted to do, if they succeeded today, nobody the secret did not leak, no information of, of about what they plan. The one is they they will not carry their own immediately they will carry their own they will say bandit invaded DSS office where Martin and the Kano is and he died and they will not call Sheikh Sheikh will not call them on phone how do you involve my company with that informing me they will give him his own share of course they will not give him his own share. When I'm look at, I'm looking at people. Imagine a man coming on the national TV, 
calling a journalist a criminal for calling for calling bandit criminals openly openly i said how can a journalist a billionaire through kidnapping he become a billionaire how can a billionaire allow a common salary receiving journalist <laughs> to call his company his own company he established how can he call a, somebody's company a criminal a criminal company i said this man you have luck that this man is not even near you if he's near you dear i believe this man has pistol he will shoot you on your head and that is end and everybody will see it on uh, on national television how Sheikh shot <laughs> journalists on the head inside the studio and nothing will happen the next day one caliphate member of uh, of bishop or whatever because they have members everywhere that one will come out and say pray for nigeria pray for nigeria their only mission they give those ones is just say pray for nigeria come and receive your money we are protecting brotherhood well i don't want to say much but the most important thing that your secret of current attack in a DSS cost, uh, uh, of, uh, quarter where Kano, Mazen and Kano is being detained is cancelled. It's completely cancelled. Plan another one. Before two hours of that plan, the, 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 the information will come. Grab your friends, wherever you are. From me, from here, the brokers have come to an end. May God bless us. God bless Biafra. God bless Mazin and the Kanu. God bless Oduduas who are fighting to exit themselves from that demonic bondage called Nigeria. And God bless every soul that is seeking to exit him or herself from that dungeon, that jungle called Nigeria. May the peace of the Lord be with you all.